Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Midoriya was a very friendly person. Everyone knew that about him. He avoided conflict when he could, but when he had to, he fought and he was fierce. But there was something that was very bad about this. Fighting with your classmate was never advised, and not a situation that anyone wants to be in. But it's not easy when your classmate is Mineta. Mineta was disgusting in every possible way, conceivable to the humankind. So, it's even worse that he's very disrespectful, and doesn't even try to hide it. He's shameless about how perverted he is. And it really disgusted everyone about him. Sometimes Midoriya wonders why he was even in that school, considering he was not morally good enough to be a hero. But that was none of his business, and he decided to keep it that way. Until, of course, Minute had reached out to touch you. You were wearing a skirt, and Minute kept commenting about you, and drawing, and it was disgusting. But since he didn't say a thing about it, Minoya tried to keep his anger to himself. It was none of his business. He could stand up for himself just fine. He didn't need to intervene. But then he saw Minoya reach out. And then it was pure instinct that his body had also acted upon. When he had slapped him, hard enough to knock him into the ground. What were you even doing? He yelled shocking everyone around him into silence, because that's the angriest they've ever seen Midoriya be. Midoriya, sweet sunshine Midoriya being angry enough to hurt someone. Well, it seems that hell has frozen over because that was something no one ever counted to see. And then, surprisingly enough, when Minata tries to explain himself, Midoriya drags him by the collar of his shirt all the way to Aizawa's office. He was not having it. And when he turned behind you to see the scene unfolding, you couldn't help but blush. Minoria was so cute. Sometimes. But what he was doing right now was absolutely hot. It made your heart flutter. And your stomach, it felt so weird. But you were so deeply in love and you knew it the moment you looked at him. The way he would do anything for you. To protect you. He loved you deeply. And he always made it very obvious with his actions. He may be shy. And sometimes not bold enough with you. And sometimes you may have wanted more from him. But right now. You knew that he was just the one for you. And when he got back. He went to apologize for causing a scene and everything but. You hugged him, smiling shyly. Thank you, Midoriya. I mean it. Oh, why am? You don't need to thank me. I... I would have done it any day. I know. And that's why I'm thanking you. You're my lovely hero, Midoriya. One that I could always count on to protect me. Just as you have today. You're the sweetest. Really. And you were the best boyfriend that I could have ever wanted. And now I have you. And you best believe that Midoriya will be over the moon over your words for one month in advance. Bakugo Katsuki. Katsuki was very angry without needing any prompting. So, whatever Mineta will do to you will make him enraged. Not only because he was very possessive and protective of you, but because he had the audacity to do this to you. Not to mention he was always disgusted at whatever Mineta did. It didn't take much for him to realize that his classmate was just a no good pervert that not be allowed in the UA at all. He had no idea why Aizawa Sensei gave him a chance. And if anything, he was just waiting for one mistake for him. And he would be the first one to tell Aizawa about it. Just so you can make sure that the little brat goes away. He hates him with a passion. If you thought he despised Deku, then Mineta would be something else. 
Because as for Midoriya, it could be called a rivalry. Or some bullying relationship you didn't understand. You had no idea what went on between the two of them. And you doubt Katsuki himself understands why he's so mean to Midoriya. But Renata, whatever anger he got, it was very well deserved. It was actually a miracle that no one had killed him yet. So, when one day, you're wearing a cheerleading outfit, and Renata reaches up to touch you, that's when it's all over for him. Because Katsuki was not letting that happen. You don't even realize the thing because he doesn't get to do so. But you do realize when you hear a bomb behind you. And look, to find Katsuki punching Mineta, making him fly into the wall. The rest of the girls were staring at the scene before them, watching as Katsuki pulled back once more to hit Mineta again. And that's when, thankfully, Izawa had come just in time to stop them from hurting each other any further. Or rather, to stop Katsuki from hurting Mineta. Mineta was very defenseless against him. And it was not like he was willing to try his luck. Because retaliating will just make this beating a whole lot more painful. And although Izawa intends to help Katsuki at first, you tell him what happened. And the rest of the girls testify. That Mineta was the one who was being disrespectful at first. And Katsuki was doing the world a good deed as a hero as they should be. And although they were, well, exaggerating a little bit, it was pretty true to what happened. And after much thought into it, Aizawa decides to take Mineta out of the school and replaces him with Shinzo in your class. And it's honestly all the more delightful. At least that's a fun classmate that you can count on. And one who's actually trying to be competent. Unlike whoever that was. And you do find yourself a friend of Shinzo. Although you find it quite funny how the two of them have purple hair. Regardless, Katsuki is very protective over you that day. And he cuddles with you a lot. Even more after that, when he realizes just how much you matter to him. So all in all, it came with a lot of benefits. That if time were to repeat itself, he would have the situation happen again. Just so you would get rid of Mineta, if he were to be honest. <laughs>